can't get me leg in. You don't need to get your leg in. Just that's leave what it she there. said. Leave the leg there. <laughs> Just get caught. That's it. Now you've moved this round. Come on. Bloody hell. No, no, you need that to be facing you. They are literally like a married couple, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Hello and welcome to Ask the Accountant Pit Stop Podcasts. And our next session is with the wonderful Mrs. Bev Flanagan. The purple. The, 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 purple. the queen of purple herself. Yes. Um, Bev, introduce yourself. Tell us who you are, where you're from and what you do. So I'm Beth Flanagan, as you've just mentioned. Uh, I love purple, as you've just mentioned, and I'm blending in with the carpet today here at Accountex Manchester, which is good. So I won't lay down just in case I get trampled on. Uh, but I, uh, my business is BFF, which is Beth Flanagan Financial, and I've been an accountant for 28 years. I know I don't look old enough, but yeah, it's true. And yeah, don't laugh. <laughs> He's laughing. He's laughing at trying to open the loop oh, right, without not, ruining the mic. being old. Honest. Right, okay, yeah. okay. So, yeah, so I, I started, I've had the best of both worlds. So I've worked in industry and in practice, and I had my own business, Mind Your Assets Accounts, uh, for 17 years, and I successfully sold it in the summer of 2022. And Johan knows all about that because he is the acquirer. You bought my firm, didn't did. you, Johan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, cool. So, so, why Accountancy North? Why here? Yeah, why here? Why, out of all the events in the world, what makes this special? Because it's up north, and up I'm north? a northerner. <laughs> it's not proper north, though, is it? Of course it is. It's not Scotland north. That is well, Scotland. yeah, that's just totally in a league of its own, though, isn't it, Scotland? <laughs> that's north yeah. north. That's north north. <laughs> this is true north. So true literally, north. I'm from Sheffield, so literally just down the road from here. Or if I say it properly, down, down the road from here. Um, and it, I've, been, I've been coming to Accountex Manchester for many, many years and I love it. It's brilliant. You get to meet all your people, all the people that you see online, uh, all your accountant friends, all your cool accountant friends and stuff and bookkeepers, all the vendors. And it's just, it's just a brilliant day. Love it. Brilliant. So it's only half nine. Ignoring the obvious answer, <laughs> what are you most looking forward to today? Oh, I can't say 10.15, Theatre 4. Of course, I'm an go get on. Me out of plug, here. plug, plug, oh, plug, plug. Oh, Theatre 4, 10.15, I'm an accountant, get me out of here. That's the that's what I'm here for. We love the name, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's good, isn't it? Name. Do you like Great it? Great name. Well done. Yeah. Um, so, what's, so by the time this goes out to the public, we'll have done the session will have been and gone. <laughs> but why don't you tell everyone what you're doing and, on the stage and what you're talking about and where you plan for them to be able to find that information after the fact? Okay, so yes, it is a bit of a quirky title, but that's that's good. Uh, and, and we're talking all about accountancy firms that you are going to be exiting your business at some point in the future. And most accountants and bookkeepers don't think about that. Yeah. They're too busy running their practice, doing the VAT returns, payroll, dealing with the team, dealing with the marketing. And they don't actually stop and think that at some point in the future, they will be exiting their firm. Like it's going to happen, it's inevitable. And this is what I'm going to be talking about today to make sure that they think and stop and think that they do have a saleable asset on their hands and not something that, they, you know, that's just bringing money in to pay the bills and that at some point that they can sell their business for as much as they can get it, the value that they can get to it if they start working on it now. Yep, brilliant. Um, so a bit early in the day for this one, but what's been the highlight so far? What's the highlight of coming to these events to you, for you? Um, it's just, like I said before, it's just meeting everybody that you already know, gaining the knowledge. You see different vendors every single time that you come. Um, and and the, like I said, every time there's more and more different people in the, in our industry, there's more and more different vendors and you learn so much. Um, it's just brilliant. It's just, just, I just love talking to people <laughs> and chatting. So what's your pro tip then? If you're going to an event like this, we've spoke about it before. You want to get the most out of it, right? Yes. So what's your pro tip for anyone out there to make sure you get an actionable um, item out of this event? What, what would you do? What's, your, what's the Bev Flanagan way? The Bev Flanagan way is you need to prepare. So like you've said, this is probably already uh, going to be airing after the event, but there's going to be many more coming up as well yep. in different locations. Yeah. So you need to plan. Don't just turn up and just be very, very massively overwhelmed by all the stands and all the people. Make sure you download the brochure before, whether you print it out or look at it on your phone or whatever, and make sure you look at the speakers, which ones you want to attend, and look at the vendors, the ones that you want to talk to that's going to be relevant to your business. If you don't, the day just goes away with you, doesn't it? And then before you know it, it's over, and you've not been able to speak to the people that you want to have spoken to. Brilliant. And um, trainers. And, tra and trainers. Yeah, <laughs> comfortable shoes there. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, yeah. trainers. 
mess that one up, didn't I? <laughs> For those that aren't here to see, Aaron's wearing smart shoes. He's got the posh shoes on everything. It looks like he's going to a night. I, mean, I, I had a sponsorship <laughs> clash, that's what it was. No, for someone that goes to so many events, yeah, exactly. he's really poorly prepared for this. <laughs> so what other events do you do in the year? And why do you do, if you do multiple ones, why? So Accountex London as well. Obviously, that's a, a bit of a larger scale version of Accountex Manchester. That's also absolutely fantastic. Uh, Digital Accountancy Show is also brilliant. Digital Accountancy Show is just like something else, isn't it, really? Yeah. Like last time with all it the... It almost feels like it's not an accounting it event. It really feels like you're at a disco. <laughs> you know, this. So when we went, was it this year when it was? The yeah. time yeah. just goes away yeah, so yeah. quickly, doesn't it? And the, the, you go into the entrance and then all of a sudden you're in a room and it's dark and you think, where the hell have I come here? And then you see all the strobe lights and stuff and it's like, wow, this is brilliant. So they really do step out of the norm and go above and beyond. And, and it's brilliant, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Digital Council Show is brilliant as well, yeah. Right. And have you got a favourite? Um, no, they're all favourites. They've all got different pros and cons. They've all got different pros and cons, yeah. Right. But they're all good. I can't really pinpoint one and say that's the best. They're all the best. Cool. Um, what's the best swag you've seen wandering around so far? Or what generally makes for the best type of swag at these events? Yeah, we've already been chatting about that uh, this morning. It's such a hot topic, isn't it? <laughs> Every conference. And it, Where's the best swag? Who's got the best swag? Is there purple you found so far? I've not actually, because it's only early, I've not properly been around everyone okay, yet. Okay. But I've seen the usual notepads and pens. Not seen anything purple yet, though. I've seen the usual socks. Not seen anything purple yet, though. But I'm, I think I'm going to be looking for like the, the high quality stuff, like the USBs and yeah, stuff yeah, like that, yeah. power packs and things like that. I've not seen any yet. Have you seen any? Have you seen any cool things? No. Quickbox got this nice three six in one cable that actually would be quite useful. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so that yeah, tech you, we have, it kind of. Do you have to sense. play a game to get that like last time? Oh, I don't know. They just, just say, say hello. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, say hello yeah. and you get a six yeah. in one cable. They've right. got quite a nice like felt covered notepad as well. Yeah. What mm. colour is it? Green. Grey. Uh, Grey. Mm. Okay. I think. <laughs> I mean, you're asking a colourblind person. Are you colourblind? Yeah. I mean, I, I can tell you're in purple. Right, right, right. But. If this purple on the carpet and that purple is a different shade, I couldn't tell you that. <laughs> They're not. That's why she can't slide right. on. Um, what do you love the most about this industry, our wonderful accounting industry? I love, I do honestly, genuinely, and I'm not just saying it's because I'm on your show. I do genuinely love our accountancy world. I've been in it 28 years, so that says something. And I've yeah, quit yeah, yeah. ages ago, if not. But it, what I do love about it is how much it's evolved since I first started and it was just one software on the market, one desktop one, and, and, and you had to do, I'm not even going to say it, but everybody's going to know which one it is. Uh, but you had to do the manual backups and yep, it's just yep. before it kick everybody out. But now look at the opportunities. Now is the absolute opportune time for accountants and bookkeepers to grow their firm, ready for exit, whenever that may be. There's just so much opportunities with the systems, the technology, the software, everything talking to each other, the stories that we can tell to our future clients of how we impact business owners' lives. And I, th I honestly don't think that we, as accountants, tell and shout enough about how we help business owners yeah, 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 and yeah, their yeah, lives. Yeah. Like we, we literally are their trusted advisors and we don't shout it enough. Yeah. And now is a real opportune time for people to do that. Love it. Completely agree. What would you change about the industry? What would I change? Um, oh, that's a question I weren't prepared for. What would I change? I don't know. Nothing at all. You're allowed to pass. We, we give you one pass throughout all this. So if you want to use your lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> Phone a friend. 50-50. Um, what would I change? Just that everything is in the cloud. Like, yes. obviously, there's still some desktop that, softwares out there. Just get, get yourself a suite for that one. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I can't be a purple one. I've got an intelligent. <laughs> but yeah, no, every, everything needs to be in the cloud. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Love it. And BFF is a brand new enterprise. Brand it new is, industry. from me, We're yes, loving it. thank you. What's your ideal client? My ideal client is a bookkeeper or accountant that's running their practice. Um, they've been running it for maybe a year or two. They're feeling a bit stuck. They're feeling a bit like, you know, that they're in that hamster wheel and they, they can't get out of it and they can see everybody on social media smashing it and they're thinking, why, why am I not smashing it? Why, where's my chance? And they're just going through a little pain point and a growing pain and they don't realise it and they just need to ask for help and that's where I can help get through to the other side. Love it. Brilliant. So think tech stacks. Yes. What's the one bit of tech you use all day, every day, you couldn't live without, like, that you recommend anyone in practice 
to look at or running a business to look at and go because and, and what how can it solve what problem it can solve so are you talking about when I was in practice or like right now what Even I see right what I'm like right okay right now and this is not just because you're sat here Johan honestly but client engager is absolutely brilliant all my clients love it and I recommend it to everybody now that's not got a, a practice management software or the ones that using is not the right fit for them that then synchronizes with Zero and QuickBooks. Um, and like I said before, everything needs to be in the cloud and all running to, together. Yeah. But yeah, Client Engager is the one to watch and look out for at the minute. Thank Love you it. very much. I'll, I'll get paid you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, don't, you don't mind rubber checks because it will. <laughs> that's <happen>. fine, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> so, bit of a buzzword lately. But what's your feeling around AI? I absolutely love AI. Okay. In fact, I did uh, a chat GPT um, webinar not long ago and it was quite successful um i know it's not all about chat gpt but no i think it's a, a massive help yeah, yeah i honestly think it will help it's not a hindrance it definitely won't take over what we're doing and i think that's the misconception that people think right now isn't it that all oh, robots are going to take over and nobody's going to just like them software adverts that you don't need an accountant or a bookkeeper yeah. stop saying that you do <laughs> but yeah ai is not going to take over but it's going to be a massive help it really really is yeah. and they can already see the benefits right now I mean, it's a great talk. We, we were seeing yesterday, weren't we? We did our podcast on Monday. We <coughs> whacked it into a bit of AI, and suddenly we've got, we're not going to use them all, but it came up with 30 shorts for us to use, yeah. didn't it? 31 minute short videos. It, exactly. Like that. I did it the other day where if you just say, um, can you, I'm an accountant, a UK accountant, I want to do some social media posts. Can you give me a 30 day content calendar? Literally within 10 seconds, it gives it you there. I don't advise copying and pasting it no. directly, obviously, because that's not your... Point, but it's a good starting yeah. point. It's a thought generator. Exactly. Yeah. No, I think yeah. it's brilliant. 100%. And, and you know yourself, especially your clients, they're time sensitive, right? So exactly. anything, anything to help them go along. Anything that saves an accountant or a bookkeeper time is needed. Yeah. So, producer Lizzie's asked us to ask list of everyone. <laughs> How did you discover us? How did I discover Ask the Accountant podcast? Yeah. Um, well, I knew you a little bit, Johan, yeah. <laughs> as we've just precluded earlier. Um, and I do watch you every, I listen to you every Monday morning. It's very, very good, your podcast. Uh, you do have a lot of people on there. You have cool friends as well, like you said, but you've not had me on it yet, so that's not really good. Series 2, uh, that's what we're going for. Am I Series, is series 2 the best? That's where, that's well, where the Everyone knows Series 2 is better than Series 1. Oh, that's, that's fine. You know what I mean? Let, let you off then. And we yeah. can have a purple only card. Yes, yes. But yes, you guys are all over the place at the minute. Mr. Anton Deck of the accounting world. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Do you actually like it when people say that? Or does it annoy you? Yeah, I like it. doesn't it. bother us. Oh, that's fine yeah, then. Yeah. I'll be saying it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we haven't decided which one's the alcoholic and <laughs> stuff, but... I mean, I was on Shandy last night. Does that, yeah. does that say anything? I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. Okay. So, what we're doing at the end of every podcast recording... Yes. ...is we're giving our wonderful guest the opportunity to plug themselves and their business so you can choose any one of the cameras um but for as long as you want talk about you your business anything you've got coming up that you want people to start signing up to or attending um you know whether you've got any sessions or subs uh, channels you want them to subscribe to the floor is yours. Wow, that's brilliant. Talk to our audience. Plug, 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 plug. Plug, yeah. plug, plug. Okay, well, I already think that I've already said some, some of it already, and thank you for the opportunity. But, um, yeah, so I've got coming up on the 3rd of October a business planning boot camp. So that is for accountants and bookkeepers that are a little bit stuck and, you know, you want to end 2023 with a bang. So I'm going to be able to guide you online. It's an online session, an online course, where you can get out of your head all the goals and plans and actions that you want to achieve by the end of this year and we'll break it down together. So you can find all the information on this on all my social media channels, which is Facebook, LinkedIn and YouTube. But yes, I would love to see you. But if you're struggling right now as an accountant or bookkeeper, I can definitely help you. I've been there and I've done that and I can help you get through to the other side so you can realise that your accounting practice is a saleable asset and not just a hobby or a job. And what I would like to say is, She's one of us, so you can trust her. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's it. So and it's that <clears throat> the first step on that journey is working on your not on your business, not in your business. So yeah. a session where you're sat there planning and starting to think where I want to go to, that that is that first step that exactly. you've got to take. And I'm going to say this in the presentation in a little while, that, that I was a bit silly at first as well because I didn't ask for help. I thought, you know what, no one can help me. I know where and what I need to do. I know where I need to be. It's just me. I've got to do it. And until... 
I came out of that stupid mentality and then did ask for help, that's when things started to change and then my yeah. business got better, my life got better, etc. So if you're feeling a bit stuck right now and you don't ask for help, please reach out. So Bev, it's been an absolute joy. I've got one thing I want to say. Go on. You're an accountant. Get yourself out of here. Oh, love it, love it. Fantastic. <laughs> well done. You. He's been working on that for weeks. <laughs> Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you, Bev.